guys, welcome back once again to Diddy Reviews. Now, it's been a while since I've done a video, but today I've got a really good video today. Well, I hope you'll think it's quite good. So I've got some new products from Be Quiet. Now, you might have already seen these on other YouTube videos. Um, but I've been also been sent some by Be Quiet, so thank you for that. These are the Lightwings 120mm uh, PWM high-speed fans. So these are for radiator use predominantly. And obviously, you could use them as case fans if you want to, but there is some normal non-high-speed ones that are meant for case, uh, case fans. Um, so we're going to have a look at these today. Um, I've been really lucky as in, uh, as Be Quiet have sent me quite a few of these over because I'm going to be using these on a water-cooled build eventually. I'm going to change this to fully water-cooled. Uh, I'm going to go hardline tubing um, for the first time ever. Um, so I'm going to be using these. So thanks again to Be Quiet for sending uh, quite a few of these over for me. This is the triple box. Uh, I'm not going to be using all of these today. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them onto my Pure Loop 240 AIO that Be Quite also sent me um, and I'm going to test them against the uh, the Pure Wings uh, that are on the uh, Pure Loop as it is. Um, so we'll sort of have a comparison there as to how much better these are than the standard ones. Uh, I expect them to be quite good um, because the specs on the box are very good. Um, so first of all we'll get it unboxed and we'll show you what's in it and then uh, we'll, we'll do the testing and we'll show you the results at the end. Right, first of all, apologies for the bit of a mess on the desk. Um, so I was going to give you a quick unboxing of these um, so you can see what they're like um, and see what you get in the box um, as a triple pack. Obviously, a single pack is literally just a fan that comes in the box, whereas these will have a little bit more in them being a triple pack. So as we open the box, um, uh, first of all, first of all, let's have a quick look at the specs on the box. Uh, it might be quite hard to read from there. So obviously, they're 120mm fans. And they go up to a speed of 2500 RPM, so they are high speed, they are for radiator use generally. Uh, noise level 31 decibels, um, we'll do a test on that to see sort of what, what the decibel level is. Um, so we'll do the pure loops first, uh, the ones that are on the pure loop first and then the other ones afterwards. Um, your airflow is 52.3 uh, CFM, so that will be obviously for your case sort of fan measurements. Um, air pressure is 2.6, now this is where they really stand out for me. Um, that is really high for air pressure, so I'm hoping that these are going to be absolutely fantastic on uh, on the AIO and then subsequently on my pure uh, my complete water loop when I when I get around to doing it. And also the are ARGB connections and the four pin PWMs. So uh, yeah, good specs on the box. Hopefully they live up to it. Uh, I believe they will, um, because generally be quite a very good. Um, so first of all. ARGB hub that you get in included with the three pack. Uh, like I say, a single pack you'll only get um, just the fan itself because they're meant as like an expansion. So let's have a quick open up and have a look at this. Uh, lots of fan screws. And then this is the hub itself. Let's have a quick look at this. So what we've got is the actual hub. Um, so be quiet. For LEDs 1 to 6. So they're standard. 3 pin 5 volt ARGB headers, so there's 6 of those there, so you can use these obviously for up to 6 fans or you can um, you can obviously use other ARGB stuff like light strips and things like that on those if you want to um, so basically this is SATA powered uh, which is nice, you don't want any of that Molex stuff and basically what you can do is you just plug your fans in as normal into, into the fan headers and then you put your ARGB cables into here also that comes in the box is this little cable here which plugs into this hub and then goes onto the motherboard ARGB header um, so you can control it via your motherboard and it splits your ARGB signal from your motherboard as well um, so that's nice to see and it's nice uh, nice covered cable as well so it's not it's not cheap or anything like that which is really good and then also the fans obviously three of these I'll just show you the one, one at a time well, I'll just show you one should I say What's the point of seeing three times the same thing? Now these are really hefty. It's obviously not possible to show you on camera how how heavy these are. Um, they're really, really well constructed. Um, yeah, I honestly didn't expect them to be quite this good. There's literally no hub wobble at all in there. Um, you've got vibration mounts on each corner as standard. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't get over how how robust these fans are and uh, so i'm looking forward to getting these in and then in terms of argb you've got your your light loop around around the edge here and also they have included it on the back as well so you can't it's hard well, it's, you can see it on camera i think this little line around here that goes all around so you can see it from both sides obviously it's not going to be as bright and in your face from the back side but if you do need to use these uh where you can see the the back end of them from inside the case or anything like that you'll still get some argb from them as well and as you can see uh, Lightwings written on the back as standard 
and then your connections, 4-pin PWM and 3-pin 5-volt ARGB. So yeah, uh, that's the fans guys, so let's get them in, um, let's do some testing. Uh, we'll show you what they look like as well, obviously, when they're lit up. And then um, yeah, we'll show you the results and see how they perform against the uh, silent wings or pure wings or whatever that's in on the pure loop uh, at the moment. Right, so there we have the Be Quiet Lightwings 120mm high speed fans uh, made for radiators. Um, now I did say at the start that I was going to test them against the fans that came with the Pure Loop. Um, however, I, I had Arctics on there that I forgot I had I'd put on. Um, so I've got Arctic P P12 PSTs that I put on a, 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 a first. Sorry about the dog making weird noises. Um, so we did, we did, I tested them against those basically, which are more of a sort of compar comparable fan really, because they're more made, meant for radiators as well, so um, probably a better comparison actually in the end. Um, now, if you look at the results, um, they performed really well, I never expect them not to perform well, um, and they look brilliant as well, as you can see from the pictures, they do look absolutely amazing, um, really, really impressed with these. Um, there's no hot spots on the RGB whatsoever. So in terms of the figures, um, we had, uh, I basically did a Cinebench 10 minute run for both of them, uh, I gave them the, the both the same chance, so I left them for a few minutes to, to get the system idle uh, and then obviously start the test. Um, and we found uh, they both ran at full speed, by the way. Um, this is going for a hub that's built into my case, uh, which is referenced from an Arctic, so they are both running at 1800 RPMs roughly. Um, so they are same at the same sort of level. Um, I'm not they didn't run off at the full 2500. So in terms of the figures, uh, the Arctics came out at a high of 76 and an average temperature across the 10 minute run of 70. And then the uh, the light wings came out at 68 uh, average and a high of 74. So two degrees lower basically across the board there. Um, pretty sort of fair result I'd say. Um, so yeah, they are definitely cool, run cooler. Uh, can run your system cooler uh, with, these, with these fans, especially obviously these are the radiator ones. Uh, the, the case fan version would be slightly different um, so yeah we've got those there really good really good um, really good result there for, for be quiet like I said I didn't run them up at the full 2500 um, because I wanted it to sort of be comparable um, so like I say if you did decide to run them even higher obviously they'll get louder um, then you'll, you'll find that they'll cool even better um, and I might actually do that when I do my full um, custom loop I'll run them up at both speeds and see the sort of difference because I've been running pretty much all light wings in, in the system at that point. Um, in terms of sound, um, they're not particularly loud, they're not stupid, super quiet, obviously they are when you run them at lower speeds but when they ran it flat out um, at these 1800 RPMs, we were looking at 31 decibels for the Arctics and 33 for the uh, Be Quiet. So they were a bit louder, um, but not overly loud. Uh, and obviously, my, my case has got loads and loads of fans in it as well. So it's uh, not going to be that loud for you, depending on how obviously your, your fan configuration is. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I can definitely recommend giving these a thumbs up for these for these fans. They're absolutely brilliant, and they look the part. They look amazing, and they're such well built. I can imagine these lasting quite a while, um, and they're actually not too bad in terms of price. And I put that off on the screen now, so you can have a look. 
Um, and I'll put US and UK up so you can just you can see how the prices across the across the world. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, got an insight as to why if you want to buy these or not. And um, personally, like I say, I would recommend them. And um, they're cheaper than your Corsairs and things like that, and they perform really well. And um, so yeah, big thumbs up from me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you join me in the next video. Hopefully, it's going to be a water cooled loop, and I'm going to be using a lot more of these fans, uh, and it's going to look absolutely amazing. Hopefully, so stick with me, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.